Welcome back to the channel guys, hope everyone's doing well. I'm not feeling particularly brilliant today, um, hence the rough kind of cut video. It's gonna, hopefully gonna be one take, <laughs> I don't know. But anyway, um, there's a few things I wanna mention about Meshtastic, um, which I think is gonna be kind of beneficial to kind of the community that's building there. It's it's going well, like there's been a quite a mass take up of this um, this Meshtastic project. So um, I'm really into it at the moment. We've got Discord going mad, there's loads of new users coming on. We've got a Mesh here and it's got like, I don't know, like 10 people on it at the moment and I'm flinging backwards and forwards messages to different people and it's, it's just really awesome to see like how this kind of off-grid messaging system is kind of taking off so if you're not familiar with this go check a couple of videos back or just look back in the history the last like four or five videos on this channel on my channel have been about um, Meshtastic so you can kind of learn more about that that's not what the topic of this video is going to be about like you know learning about Meshtastic so um, the first thing I want to say is these little um, Helltech modules that you'll know this box pretty well if you've grabbed um, these before, um, they are back in stock on Amazon now, and I've put a link below. Uh, it's an affiliate link, so like it will obviously, you know, I get a little bit of commission from it. It's hardly anything, but to just sort of support this project because I've put quite a few nodes and bits and pieces around now, and like obviously I've spent quite a bit on this project, so <laughs> you know it, it's going back into the project basically. So just um, just bear that in mind. If you're not happy with affiliate links, then you can just order from somewhere else. But the long and short of it is, these are back in stock now. Um, and this is the board that is kind of like, you know, probably the best entry level board to use. Um, the Heltec Laura um, 32. So this is an 868 megahertz board. You've got to be careful when you order these things. It needs to be 868 for the UK unless you're doing something, you know, specific or you're a ham radio operator and you want to operate on 433. But there's not a lot of activity on 433. It's mostly on 868. Now, these boards, they come like this. And there is, an, there is kind of like a, an extra um, case that you can put um, around them. This is good, you can 3D print this if you've got a 3D printer, but you know, for convenience sake, you can get these online. These seem to be a little bit thin on the ground at the moment, um, so you, you know, they are difficult to find. Um, but basically, yeah, when you get one of these devices, it's gonna be in a box like this, and you can just you know, take that out. You need to flash firmware on it, which is covered in another video, um, and that will get you going. What I want to talk about, you know, initially is the fact that the antennas that come with these vary depending on, I mean, it's crazy because they're all from the same, supposed to be from the same supplier, but they, they tend to have different antennas. Um, now, one of the antennas that you get looks like this. It's like a little coiled thing. These work really well. From the experience I've, I've had, these actually work blimmin' well. Um, and I've, I've had like, you know, two, three, four kilometer um, contacts with these and there's people some people out there with like 30 40 mile contacts on these on this sort of antenna if they're up on a hill somewhere um, but these ones that I've just received they come with another antenna look this one actually comes with a um, an SMA antenna mount which you know that that is a that's a quite a good thing to have because you can connect external antennas but one I wanted to show you was here we are it's this one this is the antenna that a lot of people have been having trouble with and there you go so this thing here so in inside it's actually got a coil which is put looks like it could be wound for for you know it doesn't look un, unusually suspect um but it don't work that well so we've, we've tried these um and they're just they're just not that great so if you're going to get these devices through with this antenna you really want to be thinking about well, bear in mind that it's not going to work great, um, that antenna. So your experience with Meshtastic initially might not, might, just might not be very good. And that, that is one of the things that might put you off, um, you know, of going further with it. So you might have good activity in your area, but that antenna is just not going to, you know, it's not going to cut it. So there are other options to do it. One of the other things you can do is use this sort of pigtail, which is um, an SMA to IPEX. I've showed these in... The video before these just literally click onto the ipex antenna socket on there and that gives you an sma which is a lot more user friendly to add other antennas so if i have a look around here i've got another and i've got an antenna which i can show you he says oh, it's behind here so basically these antennas are quite good. They, these are, um, this isn't actually a Paradar one, but there's, there's a brand called Paradar, which is familiar 
or which is on Amazon um, for 868 megahertz stuff and they are really good so what you can do is you can effectively just put that on there and then connect that to your board um, and that will that will work very very well okay look it's not portable <laughs> or anything like that you're gonna have to um, you know maybe put this in the loft or something but the point is this will work really well and it will give you a much better experience um, you know if we just connect that up there like that if you strung that up in the loft with a USB power supply you know into the bottom of that it would work really well obviously make sure that's not you know obstructed by any other you know you don't just tape it across a beam just try and have that bit in free free air um, that will work really well and that will be miles better than than um, I mean it's gonna be better than one of these but it's almost certainly gonna um, be better than the ones that come in some of these other boxes so that's the thing to sort of be aware of definitely um, antennas vary massively um, depending on where you get these things from and I have a feeling that the Amazon link that I've put down below they do come with these other antennas in fact everywhere that seems to be selling these devices right now um, have that dodgy antenna with them which you know I mean look it does work it will work close you know for close range stuff but it's not going to work you know at a distance um, so it's not completely useless that's what I'm, what I'm trying to say so next thing to talk about um, is the activity it it is really starting to sort of blossom out there now, now you know there's lots and lots of lots of kind of new users coming in um, so it can be a little bit like this is this is like a cheap thing to be sort of doing it's like 20 quid um, you just get one of these nodes and just turn it on and or flash the firmware turn it on sues around you know so you can see that maybe this could end up being something that people like look at and go oh there's not any activity just chuck it away now the key about this I've said this all along is you just want to have this device just literally on all the time give it a good shot you know R turn these things on leave them running um, because the more of these that are on in an area the better the coverage is going to be because they mesh together um, so you know that that's that's what something to be aware of don't just turn it on and just see oh there's no one on and then just turn it off again that's that sort of isn't the point of this um, kind of project really just like trying to <laughs> trying to put it out there um, but yeah basically that that's the long and short of it now the other thing um, I wanted to say was I've been doing a lot of testing with this lately and um, it's it's an it's a really interesting one because this does work very very well um, it works very very well when everything's quite close range and it's you know you've got nodes you know one mile down the road two miles down the road and then they link across stuff like that when when the signal strengths are really strong it is it's amazing like it it works so brilliantly um when you're operating at a distance it can get a little bit kind of mm, is this actually working or, or or not one thing i've found is that the beacons are very solid like you will notice beacons from other stations um and and that for me is is the biggest one of the biggest you know parts of fun uh it's the most fun bit for me just you know seeing the beacons and working out you know where other stations are that's really cool messaging on from that requires quite a lot of extra um it requires be a much better signal so if you're receiving a beacon it doesn't necessarily mean you're going to be able to contact that station that's where the fun begins because once you've got a beacon you sort of know that there's a station out there um, and you're seeing beacons appear. Apologies if people don't know what I'm talking about here, but um, go watch the other videos because there's a lot of lot of stuff. But effectively, in your node list, you're going to see nodes in your local area, or, or not, <laughs> um, depending on where you are. You'll see nodes in your local area, and those are quite easy to receive. They're very small packets of data, and the longer you leave your node on in your area, like you know, if you left it on a window still for a few days the longer you leave it on the more chance it's going to get to actually pick up something um, because the way this works is it takes quite a while for the system to actually recognize or work out or get enough data for the um, for the names of the nodes so you might have actually picked something up but you don't you won't know about that until until the actual code has done its job and resolved all of the names and put that node in the list 
on the um, on the app or where, whatever you you know you've got connected to this device PC or whatever. Um, so yeah, it's really important to know that the beacons are super like they penetrate. You know, you can pick up beacons from miles and miles and miles away. Um, but it doesn't necessarily mean you're going to be able to message or do trace routes and things like that. But it's a starting point for you to then go, right, well, I know there's something out there. Let's let's start playing with antennas. Let's just, you know, get some directional antennas going. Um, maybe go out in the car with one of these things and sort of, you know, track this thing down. That That is the fun of it. It's not, it's not a plug and play kind of, you know, it, it possibly could be at some point um, a very plug and play system. But it's 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 an an experimenter's dream this is the rabbit hole of 2024 for sure for me um i don't think anything it's rarely things come along um you, you know uh, often they don't come along that often um that i can get absolutely obsessed with stuff like that. i know a lot of you are um are the same so yeah things to bear in mind um the most important thing is obviously about the antennas you know you've really got to you really got to make sure that you've got a decent antenna um and yeah join the discord as well because there's loads of help on there you know we're i'm constantly i'm on there flipping 24 7 at the moment just you know trying to help and you know all, all of that um if depending on areas have a look on the canvas map you you might find that your local area um has a bunch of hotspots i'm seeing this map just update and there's new ones every time i go there so it, it's really cool um london has now got like a a, a node um up on the uh, uh, it's central, it's sort of Moorgate kind of way, um, but basically that's up at about 100, 100 and something meters, and, <laughs> and that is getting out pretty well up there. Um, so that's that's a good one. We're seeing a few new stations coming through there. There's other things you can do with this internet linking. Um, y there are other videos on this. Maybe I should probably do do my own on on that at some point. MQTT. Um, so yeah, if you want to know anything anything more about this, um, yeah, just just leave a link uh, well, just write a comment below and I'll I'll, um, I'll I'll see that and kind of bear that in mind for future stuff other things I want to mention um, I've got this really nice case which was sent to me by um, x-ray mark on discord and uh, thanks for that mate look at this it's absolutely brilliant really really nice and he's got a, a YouTube channel which is basically at Blackpool Airport and it, it faces onto the runway. So that's really interesting. People that are inter into this stuff always love that kind of thing as well. Um, so I'll leave a link to that below as well. And yeah, I think I think that's going to be it for this one. Um, yeah, quick off the cuff one. Hope you enjoyed it. Catch you next time.